Greenland Shark, Wikipedia Audio The Greenland Shark, also known as the Guri Shark, or Grey Shark, or by the Kalalisut name Ikalushuak, is a large shark of the family Somniacidae, closely related to the Pacific and Southern Sleeper Sharks. The distribution of this species is mostly restricted to the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean and Arctic Ocean. It has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species, and is among the largest extant species of shark. As an adaptation to living at depth, it has a high concentration of trimethylamine and oxide in its tissues, which causes the meat to be toxic. Greenland shark flesh treated to reduce toxin levels is eaten in Iceland as a delicacy known as Kaester hackerl. The Greenland shark is one of the largest living species of shark, with dimensions comparable to those of the great white shark. Greenland sharks grow to 6.4 m and 1,000 kg, and possibly up to 7.3 m and more than 1,400 kg. Most Greenland sharks observed have been around 2.44-4.8 m long and weigh up to 400 kg. Description Males are typically smaller than females. It rivals the Pacific sleeper shark as the largest species in the family Somniacidae. The Greenland shark is a thick-set species, with a short, rounded snout, small eyes, and very small dorsal and pectoral fins. The gill openings are very small for the species' great size. Coloration can range from pale creamy grey to blackish brown and the body is typically uniform in color, though whitish spots or faint dark streaks are occasionally seen on the back. When feeding on large carcasses, the shark employs a rolling motion of its jaw. The teeth of the upper jaw are very thin and pointed, lacking serrations. These upper jaw teeth, numbering from 48 to 52, act as an anchor while the lower jaw does the cutting. The lower teeth are interlocking and are broad and square, 50 to 52 in count, containing short, smooth cusps that point outward. Teeth in the two halves of the lower jaw are strongly pitched in opposite directions. The Greenland shark is an apex predator and mostly eats fish. It has never been observed hunting. Recorded fish prey have included smaller sharks, skates, eels, herring, capelin, arctic char, cod, rosefish, sculpins, lumpfish, wolffish, and flounder. Greenland sharks have also been found with remains of seals, polar bears, horses, moose, and reindeer in their stomachs. The Greenland shark is known to be a scavenger, and is attracted by the smell of rotting meat in the water. The sharks have frequently been observed gathering around fishing boats. It also scavenges on seals. Although such a large shark could easily consume a human swimmer, the frigid waters it typically inhabits make the likelihood of attacks on humans very low, and no cases of predation on people have been verified. As an ectotherm living in a just above freezing environment, the Greenland shark has the lowest swim speed and tail beat frequency for its size across all fish species which most likely correlates with its very slow metabolism and extreme longevity. It swims at a leisurely 1.22 km per hour, with its fastest cruising speed only reaching 2.6 km per hour. Because this top speed is only half that of a typical seal in their diet, biologists are uncertain how the sharks are able to prey on the faster seals. It is hypothesized that they may ambush them while they sleep. Greenland sharks migrate annually based on depth and temperature rather than distance, although some do travel. During the winter, the sharks congregate in the shallows for warmth but migrate separately in summer to the deeps or even farther south in summer. 
The species has been observed at a depth of 2,200 meters by a submersible investigating the wreck of the SS Central America that lies about 160 miles east of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Daily vertical migration between shallower and deeper waters has also been recorded. Dentition In August 2013, Researchers from Florida State University caught the first documented Greenland shark in the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of 1,749 m, where the water temperature was 4.1 degrees Celsius. A more typical depth for the species is above 1,200 m. The shark is often colonized by the mutualistic bioluminescent Copepoda matocoida elongata which attaches itself to the shark's eyes and attracts prey to the shark's head. The shark occupies what tends to be a very deep environment seeking its preferable cold water habitat. When hoisted upon deck, it beats so violently with its tail, that it is dangerous to be near it, and the seamen generally dispatch it, without much loss of time. The pieces that are cut off exhibit a contraction of their muscular fibers for some time after life is extinct. It is, therefore, extremely difficult to kill, and unsafe to trust the hand within its mouth, even when the head is cut off. And, if we are to believe Krantz, this motion is to be observed three days after, if the part is trod on or struck. The Greenland shark has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species. One Greenland shark was tagged off Greenland in 1936 and recaptured in 1952. Its measurements suggest that Greenland sharks grow at a rate of 0.51 cm per year. In 2016, a study based on 28 specimens that ranged from 81 to 502 cm in length determined by radiocarbon dating of crystals within the lens of their eyes, that the oldest of the animals that they sampled, which also was the largest, had lived for 392 plus or minus 120 years. The authors further concluded that the species reaches sexual maturity at about 150 years of age. As recently as 1957, females were found not to deposit eggs in the bottom mud, but retain the developing embryos within their bodies so they are born alive after an undetermined gestation period. About 10 pups per litter are normal each initially measuring some 38-42 cm in length. Like other Elasmobranchii, Greenland sharks have high concentrations of the nitrogenous waste products urea and trimethylamine and oxide in their tissues, which increases their buoyancy and function as osmoprotectants. TMAO also counteracts the protein, destabilizing tendencies of urea and of deep water pressure. Its presence in the tissues of both Elasmobranch and Teleost fish has been found to increase with depth. The blood of Greenland sharks contains three major types of hemoglobin, made up of two copies of alpha globin combined with two copies of three very similar beta subunits. These three types show very similar oxygenation and carbonylation properties, which are unaffected by urea an important compound in marine elasmobranch physiology. They display identical electronic absorption and resonance Raman spectra, indicating that their heme pocket structures are identical or highly similar. The hemoglobins also have a lower affinity for O2 compared to temperate sharks. These characteristics are interpreted as adaptations to living at great water depths. Life History Diet The flesh of the Greenland shark is toxic because of the presence of high concentrations of trimethylamine oxide. If the meat is eaten raw or even if cooked without pretreatment, the ingested TMAO is metabolized into trimethylamine, 
which can produce effects similar to extreme drunkenness. Occasionally, sled dogs that eat the flesh are unable to stand up because of this effect. Similar toxic effects occur with the related Pacific sleeper shark, but not in most other shark species, whose meat is often consumed fresh. Other Behavior Longevity Reproduction Physiological Adaptations As food the meat can be eaten if it is boiled in several changes of water or dried or fermented for several months to produce caester hackerel. Traditionally, this is done by burying the meat in boreal ground for 6-8 weeks, which presses the TMAO out of the meat and also results in partial fermentation. The meat is then dug up and hung up in strips to dry for several more months. It is considered a delicacy in Iceland. The Greenland shark's poisonous flesh has a high urea content, which gave rise to the Inuit legend of Skalugshuaik, the first Greenland shark. The legend says that an old woman washed her hair in urine and dried it with a cloth. The cloth blew into the ocean to become Skalugshuaik. Another legend tells of a girl whose father cut off her fingers while drowning her, with each fingers turning into a sea creature, including Skalugshuaik. The Greenland shark plays a role in cosmologies of the Inuit from the Canadian Eastern Arctic and Greenland. Iglulik Inuit believe that the shark lives within the urine pot of Sedna, goddess of the sea, and consequently its flesh has a urine like smell and acts as a helping spirit to shamans. Inuit Legends